ಅನವೋತು ಸಹ ನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಕೂಜಂತಂ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ಮಧುರಂ ಮಧುರಾಕ್ಷರಂ ಆರುಹ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾ ಶಾಖಾ ಮಂದೇ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಕೋಕಿಲಂ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಯೇ ನಮಃ ಅಂಜನಾನಂದನ ವೀರಂ ಜಾನಕೀಶೋಕನಾಶನ ಕಪೀಶಮಕ್ಷಹಂತಾರಂ ವಂದೇ ಲಂಕಾ ಭಯಂಕರ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಸನ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಗುಡ್ ನೈಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೀಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೀಮ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ರಾಮ ಟೂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ರಾಮ ಅಲೋನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿರೈ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ ಭರತ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಶತ್ರುಘ್ನ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮದರ್ಸ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಮದರ್ಸ್ ಕೌಸಲ್ಯ ಸುಮಿತ್ರ ಹೌ ದೇ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ರೋಲ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದೇರ್ ರೋಲ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ವೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸರ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಮೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಓ ಹೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ವೈ ನಾ ಅರ ಕೊರೆ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಸೇ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಅವರ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪಾಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಮೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಅವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲೋವರ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಹೈಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಅವರ್ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎಸ್ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಎಸ್ ನನ್ನ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ okay ideal student first we'll take all the 10 topics it's uh, we don't have time to complete it in two days just i'll give you the drops of honey the nectar you taste it then afterwards we'll study the ramayana very elaborately so very soon cif is going to conduct very uh, elaborate course on ramayana so i have planned to do this ramayana course by rama's grace there we will study more is it okay complete ramayana will study now you take little drops of nectar this is like add for that ramayana course ideal student the so many things we can derive from valmiki <coughs> thirst for knowledge if you are ideal student the student should have thirst for knowledge our gurudev swami chinmayanji also went to uh, tapon maharaj in himalayas tapon maharaj asked gurudev to go and get a recommendation letter from shivanand maharaj in rishikesh if we would have been there all uh, just we will come back from tapon maharaj that's all so we try to meet him in the next janmas this is very difficult get a letter from shivaram the maharaj and go back again this our gurudev swami chinmayan ji he had nal thirst for knowledge came down got the letter went back and he with so many the, the, the climatic situations the conditions he studied from tapor maharaj why thirst for knowledge you see all the upanishad students they heard very very deep thirst for knowledge if you are a good student 
Otherwise, the receptivity will not be there. The teacher will be talking. The student will be sitting and watching the teacher's dress, the teacher's watch, teacher's or the whatever the teacher, the teacher's costume. <laughs> Otherwise, if the subject is very deep, so beyond the head, the student will sleep very nicely in the class. How was this class very nice? How I slept very nicely. <laughs> Sir, the thirst should be there. <clears throat> Arjuna became a very powerful student and he started asking so many questions. Why thirst for knowledge? <clears throat> First qualification. So we can learn from Rama. We'll see few incidents. Second, obedience should be there. Obedience means not blindly, even. whatever I say, you have to listen. That, that is not that kind of uh, obedience is explained here. Obedience means what the surrendering the ego at the feet of the guru, teacher. So, Rama surrendered his ego at the feet of Vishwamitra. So he could learn so many things. Obedience should be there. You know, the student will get arrogance. Asking so many uh, irrelevant questions and irritating the teacher. And instead of getting the blessings, the student will get curse. So, obedience should be there. Submission of the ego will uh, produce very nice knowledge in student's heart. This is very important, obedience. Service attitude. <clears throat> Once if you learn from the teacher, the teacher says you go and serve the society by sharing this knowledge, the service. Otherwise, you receive the knowledge, simply we um, enjoy this knowledge and not sharing the knowledge with the public. Service. The student should have service attitude. See, in those days, the students used to live with the Guru in Gurukula. And they literally they served washing the cloth. Cloth means what the deer skin. But washing the land, bringing the Samit for the Yaga Yagna and cleaning the ashram and taking care of garden there. There are so many physical uh, services they are doing. At the same time, they received the knowledge and shared the knowledge with the rest of the generations. So, service attitude should be there and the blessings of the teacher is very, very important. Blessing should be there. Krishna studied from Sandipani Maharishi. Sandipani Maharishi blessed Krishna and Sudama also. The incident is there in Bhagavad. All your wishes will be fulfilled. Whatever you, you do sankalpa, your sankalpa will be uh, accomplished. This is the blessings. Lord Krishna got from his Guru Sadhipani. The same way, blessings of the teacher is very important. Otherwise, because the teacher doesn't like the student, because you behaved a very, um, not behaved well in the class. The teacher is getting irritated. I don't know, so many nice things will, cannot be translated in English. <laughs> You will not be very good in, uh, in your life. <laughs> we used to get this kind of line in Tamil sayings. Whenever we go to school, when we irritate teacher, the teacher will give curse. When I get the curse, even though we have so much of ability, it's very difficult to get success in life. They cannot improve. There is no progress. Why? The teacher's blessings is not there. So the Thotaka Acharya, because of the teacher's blessings, he started speaking. So that is very important. Take Karna. He went to Parashurama. He missed the teacher's blessings, even though he had so much of ability. In Mahabharata, Karna is glorified like Arjuna. <coughs> For Arjuna, the right opponent is, opponent is Karna. Even though Karna has got this much ability to face uh, Arjuna, facing the Arjuna on the battlefield is not an ordinary thing. Because Krishna is guiding Arjuna. But that kind of person, why he was defeated by Arjuna? The curse of the teacher. Parasurama curse day. And Dronacharya also. So that is very, very important. Even though we do not have much ability with the blessings of teacher, we can achieve so many things. Teacher means guru here. Okay? So many things you can, so, so many things you can add also. If you read Valmiki Ramayana, if you get more uh, points, please add five, six, seven like that. With this uh, few points, we will see the references from Valmiki.
Is it okay? Now see, the first thirst for knowledge. Then Valmiki Maharishi, when uh, uh, Vishwamitra Maharishi took Rama to the forest, he came to Kosala, uh, Ayodhya, and he asked our uh, Dasarada, Oh Dasarada Maharaj, so I would like to conduct the nice program, the Yaga, Yagnyam, for the benefit, benefit of the world. Lokakshaya Martha, I am going to do the Yaga. The Rakshasas are coming and disturbing my Yajna. So I can kill them, but I want to take Rama, to expose Rama to this world. At the same time, I have to bring the best from the Rama. Otherwise, when I am sitting in the Yajna, so I cannot fight with the Rakshasas. There are so many reasons. So I want to uh, what that, take your Rama to my Yajna. Let Rama protect my Yajna. So peacefully I can do my Yajna for the Loka Kshayamartha. This is the request of Vishwamitra Rishi to Dasarada Magri, Dasarada Raja. The Raja was so much attached with the Rama, he fell down. Fell down pretending that, so he is completely within, fainted. Slowly opening his eyes and looking at Vishwamitra, whether this man is gone or not. Vishwamitra is still sitting, drinking coffee, tea or some water. Seat. <laughs> you get up. I have to, without the taking Rama, I cannot go to forest. He, he tried his best not to send Rama. That's another. Vishwamitra tried his best to take Rama. In between, Vasishtha Maharishi came and he consoled Dasarada. Hey, Dasarada, what you are doing is not right for Rama's growth. You have to send Rama to Vishwamitra Rishi. He will take care, you don't worry. No, no, the Rama, I got Rama after so many years. I did tapas, I did what the Putra Kamashti Yaga. I got a very nice son. Even he is not uh, completed, even 16 year. Ona Sorasha or Shome, Rama Rajiva Lochana. Evening 6 o'clock, he used to sleep. Rajiva Lochana. So his uh, eyes are like lotus. The lotus will, <laughs> what that, will go down when evening 6 o'clock. At the time of or the, the sunset, like that, my Rama will not. Uh, he he doesn't have any ability to fight with the Rakshasas. Actually speaking, he is he doesn't have any ability to fight with me also. How can my son will fight with the Rakshasas? Therefore, I will not send. So Vasishta came and consoled. Hey, sure, I know who is Rama. Please send him with Vishamitra. Vishamitra successfully to Rama and taken to um, forest. So in Vishwamitra took Rama, whenever Rama goes, Lakshmana will go along with Rama. Vishwamitra did not ask you how to send Rama along with uh, Lakshmana. No. Whenever Rama goes, Lakshmana will be there. Rama, Lakshmana together. Why? Why whenever Rama goes, Lakshmana also goes along with Rama? The point is explained in uh, uh, Valmiki, we will study this little later. During the course, we will study. Why Lakshmana is always with Rama? Okay. Rama went with Vishwamitra. Lakshmana also went with Rama. So, so he took Rama Lakshmana to the forest. On the way, suppose you take very nice kind of, very brilliant kind of students with you to somewhere else. These students are very studious. They get a very good mark first class, gold medalist, when you take this children, this kind of children with you somewhere, they will drill you with so many questions. Definitely you will be getting irritated because, hey, enough, you back to your home. <laughs> I do this job myself, get out. <laughs> one, suppose a student is asking you one question. You are very happy. Hey, brilliant question you are asking, da, because it's the first question. Ah, very brilliant question. Da. Why? First question, I know the answer also. Ah, very good. So you appreciate this vice question. And very enthusiastically you answer it. Second question. The first question, very good. Second question, good. Third question. The third question. <sighs> Interesting. Interesting means I don't like this. <laughs> Fourth question. Your face is getting changed. You are getting irritated. 
even though you are very enthusiastic a person to answer all the questions question after question now here rama how many question he asked then he went uh, uh, with vishwamitra rishi you take balagand before marriage before marriage vishwamitra took rama to the forest so many questions are you 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 the whole balaganda is answer for rama's questions it shows that rama had curiosity to know the outer world the first time he comes out of the um, palace he might have gone here and there but we're taking the long trip now these are the questions <clears throat> first is kama ashrama he saw ashrama in the forest So Vishwamitra is taking Rama. He saw some ashram, and he asked, "What is this ashram?" And Vishwamitra should stay back, and he has to explain. This is the place where a Lord Shiva burnt <coughs> Kama Deva. <coughs> the story is explained there. Okay, Rama is very happy. He learned about Lord Shiva and the Kama Ashram. And next, then they started moving, continuing their journey. Next story: Ganga and Sarayu. So what is this place? I could hear so much of sound. Why the river is making this much sound? This this is the place Ganga and Sarayu they come together. That's why. Then where the Sarayu has started? Okay. And he our Vishwamitra uh, Rishi is explaining about Ganga and Sarayu. Simple simple question. You will be irritated. Rama, I will give you apple. If it is possible, I will give you jackfruit. Take eat. <laughs> simply follow me don't ask any question da so much of stories i have to tell you okay otherwise i'll tell you later we'll say like that now vishwamitra is stopping each and every place and explain very very enthusiastically interestingly again story tataka why this uh, forest is looking very ferocious very terrible so oh, this is the place the tataka is living and the story of tataka is explained he explains the story of the we will learn this very elaborately later he explains this is the tataka vanam and how to kill tataka so tataka story is explained rama killed tataka also there next story comes siddhasrama siddhasrama is the place where uh, um, vishwamitra rishi was doing yagnyam there vishwamitra rishi is very much attached or very much devoted to vamana avatar So this is a place Vamana took avatar. Lord Vishnu took Vamana avatar. I selected this place. Whichever uh, the yagna or puja is being done here, that will be fulfilled. Siddhi. Therefore, this ashram is called Siddha Ashram. Now I am going to do the puja here. The background story of the Siddha Ashram. Vamana avatar he explains to Lord Vishnu here, Rama. So Vishnu took Vamana avatar. The same Vishnu took here Rama avatar. So Vishnu, Rama, the Vishnu is hearing his own story of a Vamana avatar from Vishwamitra Rishi. This is a very interesting story. Simply he is telling. So once upon a time, Lord Vishnu took a Vamana avatar. Ah, Rama is listening. Ah. And he came to Bali Chakravarti, and uh, he just got three feet of the land. Ah, then what happened? Very interesting. Huh? His own story. It's only earlier, earlier story is listening from Vishwamitra. He, Rama could have told that, hey, I know this only. I made the story. Don't tell all the story to me, okay? Tirupati ke ladda. Vishe le. Don't tell all the stories to me. I know. The Rama never because manusya vadara. He has to hide everything. Only he is showing the human aspect. So Siddha Sharma story. Now see the four stories. Not only the four, he is stopping with the four stories. So many stories. So Kusha Kushanaba. This is the place the king Kushanaba lived. Again, one uh, the lineage of the uh, uh, Kushanaba, the king. King story. He started telling the Raja Rishis how they lived, how they uh, or the ruled this country. One place while they were going to uh, Janaka Puri. After this yagna, they started moving to Janaka Puri. Then on the way, he asked Ganga story of Ganga. Please, can you explain how Ganga has been created or brought down here um, to this land, the earth? And the elaborate avatar for Ganga is explained here. 
So Gangavadana story comes in uh, Bhagavadam also. But if you read more than Bhagavadam in, in Ramayana, the story is very, very elaborate. Very, very elaborate. Ganga story. So Ganga avatar is explained to Rama by Vishwamitra. So you cannot say uh, in Rama, you know, why Ganga avatar is coming. In Rama avatar, why Vaman avatar is explained. When you ask, so the discussion is kept in this way. This is the discussion between Rama and Vishwamitra. So Vishwamitra kept on explaining this kind of stories to Rama. Why Rama asked this much questions? Please explain Ganga avatar. So, Valmiki explains the whole night they were discussing about Ganga Avatar. Whole night. They didn't sleep. Question after question about Ganga Avatar. So uh, he started uh, during night time, Ganga Avatar Vishwamitra Rishi. In the presence of Ganga only, they were talking about Ganga Avatar. So near Ganga only, how Ganga Avatar happened. The whole night uh, they started uh, continuing enjoying the Ganga story. So morning, uh, 3.30, 4 o'clock, and Rama started doing his Sandhya Vandana. No sleep. They enjoyed this kind of story. So when you observe the Vradam and Shivaratri and Vaikunda Ekadesi, so we have to spend time, like how Rama and Vishwamitra uh, spend time near Ganga Devi. Not watching movies, four movies. The Hollywood, Bollywood movies. And Shivaratri. They told me how to wake up the whole night by <laughs> watching movies. Suppose we die, we'll go to Bollywood, Hollywood area only. We'll take birth there. Yam yam vapis maran bhavam tajatante kalevaram tamtame vaitikaunte sada tadbhava bhavita. So when you think of that uh, Hollywood movies, when we die, particularly Shivaratri day, then we'll take birth there. Nearby place, and we'll go and uh, get some job there. It's not like that. So we have to observe Vradam and waking up the whole night, how Vishwamitra Rishi and our Rama spent time. It's very nicely explained in Valmiki Ramayana. Story of Vishalapuri, Amrita Matana. Vishalapuri. So one more, uh, the, the city was seen by Rama and he asked, what is this city? And this is the Vishalapuri. This is the place, the Amrita Matana. Um, the, the Devas and uh, Asuras spend time here. And this is the Puri. A very nice story he is explaining. And the last story before uh, our uh, Janaka Puri. Why this place is looking like this? Whose ashram? The ashram is completely dilapidated. Whose ashram? He is asking. Rama. And he explained about Ahalya story. Gautam Arisha, Ahalya, how they lived, what happened to Ahalya. So after this story only, Ahalya got liberated from her curse. So, so, see so many stories. So many stories. The stories were explained by Vishwamitra Rishi. Not simply Vishwamitra Rishi himself says, Rama, do you know this is Ahalya Asran? Rama, do you know this is Vishalapuri? Rama, do you know this is Ganga? You, this old man again and again is kept on telling so many stories about Lakshmana. Gee, I don't know why I have come with this man. Because old people always, they like to talk so much. Young people, they don't like to listen to old people. Like, <laughs> this is what happening in our life. We say old is gold, old is gold, old is bore, yeah. <laughs> because they have experience. They have experience, they want to share their knowledge. The young people, they want to explore. I want to achieve so many things. I want to be very active. This man is asking me again and again. Rama, do you know? Lakshmana, do you? <laughs> Why our father sent us with this man, old man? I go, so much of boring that. Now here Rama is not telling. Rama himself asks so many questions. And appreciating all the questions each and every time with all uh, what do you call it? Without any what the, the boring attitude, our Vishwamitra Rishi has explained. This is the thirst for knowledge. Rama wants to know. I want to know what is happening around me. The first time he comes out, the very what the deeper forest, interior forest, and he explained this is this shows Rama's attitude of thirst for knowledge. So, as an ideal student, 
what how we have to live we should have the thirst for knowledge and trying to get so many informations i want to know so much of information not having interest in any other pleasures and nowadays what happens not having interest in the, every mother and father in every house they tell padi study they get good mark study study even the, the boy is sitting on the table opened his book simply is looking at the book study well study get good mark i am studying uh, every day but i am not getting good mark teachers are not giving me mark <laughs> is every father study well study well study well every day you you may tell more than uh, 100 times 200 times study well study well get good mark le like every house dasaratha never told kausalya never told rama himself has got this kind of attitude thirst for knowledge once if you are very informative very knowledgeable then you can achieve so many things in the world all simple if you want to achieve if you want to get success then you, you should have information so what is the source of information the experienced people like rishi vishwamitra and vasishta experienced and they know so many things so rama comes first first time outside he wants to know and luckily he has got the source of knowledge vishwamitra he received everything arjun also had this kind of question asking question after question that's why we got the 18th chapter otherwise arjuna would have told that hey enough of a second chapter i am completely confused already i confused 50% because your answer second chapter vyamishrayaneva mohena buddhi moh vyamishrayaneva vakyena buddhi moh esivame stop it enough so what do you want you want me to fight sand podu tholaikara leave it <laughs> anyway i'll fight you <laughs> stop your what is that advice okay archana would have told no archana has got thirst for knowledge interesting this thirst for knowledge in the student in our mind is called students attitude With that we have to learn from rama so many questions to one person in one uh, balaganda is okay this is point number 1 thirst for knowledge ideal student how can you say rama is ideal student ideal students means you should have thirst for knowledge can you show the example you see the whole balaganda okay this point number point number no, no, this is point number to obedience rama is very very obedient to but that is teacher the incident is tataka vadam tataka comes so we have seen this this is the tataka third story the vishwamitra rishi is explaining about tataka story how she got curse how his husband was killed okay so that her her two children her husband was how he was killed and her two children marichan subahu how they born how they uh, the disturbing uh, the rishis all the stories were explained and now rishi the rishi asked to thought asked rama to kill tataka tataka vadam rama first time came out and first bana okay the first bana it first arrow to kill tataka pennana perundagai manathidai ninaindan kamban kambarama ena says that hey like very poor girl the hey, rakshas is standing in front of this is not girl this is rakshas he thousand elephant does she has got thousand elephants power the ordinary woman is totally different this is a rakshasi how to kill tataka so rama has got a second thought no i am not going to kill tataka but vishwamitra is insisting that you how to kill tataka so there is dharma uh, what is that sankata so in uh, rama uh, what is that head the dharma sankata happened so rama thinks it is uh, not very good to kill tataka because he has got compassion for this tataka you hey, you So Vishwam says this, this is not a woman. This is Rakshasida. You have to kill. So his perspective is totally different. Rama's perspective is totally different. There comes the problem. The same kind of problem you see in Mah- Mahabharata War, in the Kurukshetra War. Krishna says you have to kill these fellows. And Arjuna says, "Katham Bhishma Maham Sanke Dronam Chamadu Sudana Ishudi Pratiyotsya." How can I hit my guru? 
and my grandfather. You should be hip prati voce. Puja are how? We have to do puja for them. A Krishna, you are telling how to kill them. So in my mind, it is not good. Now comes this Dharma Sankat. So you have to clarify this. So Krishna took 17 chapters to clarify um, Arjuna's uh, confusion. And Arjuna says, Karishye Vachanam Tava. When he says in the 18th chapter, you have to convince him. Brilliant student. Here Rama, Rama also got the same kind of thing. I'm not going to kill Tataka. So he had that kind of mind, uh, thought in his mind. But you show him that says, you have to finish her. So Rama himself heard that he reflected and he came into conclusion that yes, I can kill. Rama never asked Vishwamitra, I got confused, please you have to explain. Otherwise, one more Bhagavad Gita we would have got from Rama. In, oh, yo, yo. Already one Bhagavad Gita, 18th chapter. They are asking me to conduct the class and people are coming to class. It's a two chapters, four years. The remaining chapters, when we have to complete, the next Janma only. Sir, one more Bhagavad Gita <laughs> will come. Sir, Rama did not have that. Rama, he clear, clarified his own mind by reflecting the thought. Very interesting. Le? Rama also had this kind of thing. Now see. Soham Pitruvacha Shrutva Sasanat Brahma Vadinaha Karishyamina Sandekaha Sandehaha Tataka Vadam Uttamam. So he says, Pitruvacha Shrutva. Because having heard Dasaradasa, Dasaradasa says, when he sent Rama with uh, Vishwamitra, he hey Rama, whatever your Guru Vishwamitra says, you have to do it. Pithurvacha, Shud. You have to be very, very obedient. Brahma Vadina, Shasanat Brahma Vadina. Shasana means the order. Brahma Vadina means Vasishta Magrishi. Vasishta Magrishi and other people, they told Rama, Swastirastu. And listen to Vishwamitra, he is a very highly learned person. He did tapas. He is not very. He conquered Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Mada, Master, everything. So very often we say that even Vishwamitra also fell down with uh, Manaka. That if we will say like this, no, Vishwamitra in the first and in the beginning of the uh, tapas, he felt, he slipped, it's okay. But after that, he conquered Kama, Krodha, Loba, everything. Now the Avatar Purusha Rama is going behind Vishwamitra. Vishwamitra is not going behind Rama. Rama is running behind Vishwamitra. <laughs> this is the glory of Vishwamitra. He's not ordinary Purusha. Maryada Purusha is running. So Vishwamitra is such a great uh, personality. Oh, Rama, you have to listen. Shasanath Brahma Vadina. All the people, the great uh, Rishis told me in the um, palace, listen to Vishwamitra. My father also told, listen to Vishwamitra. So he kept that idea in his mind. Karishyami na sandegaha. So here he says, Karishyami na sandega. There in Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna says, Karishya, Karishya Vachanam Tava. This is, I will do it. After listening 17 chapters, I will listen to your words. But Arjuna took more time because the, the presentation is different. So Arjuna Nimiti Kritye. So the, keeping Arjuna as an instrument, Bhagavan Krishna gave that knowledge to us. Sarvo Upanishadu Gavo, Dokta Gopala Randanaha, Partho Vatsa Sudhir Bhokta. Dugdam Gita Amrita Mahat. Krishna brought this, uh, um, the nectar of milk from the Upanishad, the, uh, the cows. Arjuna took little, but so much of milk, we are only taking and making curd, butter, ghee, we are swallowing. So for us only, Bhagavad Gita is Krishna brought. The here, without any other Bhagavad Gita kind of information, so Rama, Therefore, he is ideal personality. Ideal person. Karishye, Karishyam na sandhya, tadaka vadam uttama. This is uttama only, uttama karyam. This is not uh, the form you have to see outside, the power inside. The rakshasata inside this form is very, very important. So I will do this job. The kamban also very nicely he brings. Yeah, we will bring Kambana also. We are going to learn very elaborately. I will bring how Kambara Mayana Kamban says. Ayan Nang Adhikate. When Rama hears from Vishwamitra, and he says, Rama considered Vishwamitra's word as Vedavak. 
Even Avrama says, even if I get the other mass fruit, the fruit of other mass by killing Tataka, I am ready to kill. Why? I, I will listen to your words. That's obedience. The obedience le, so the student has got some idea, the teacher says some instruction. The student thinks that I know more than teacher, so I have to do my own thought. I have to exhibit my own thought. This is called uh, or that egoistic and arrogance. So even though I have so much, even though I, I have the reflecting ability, but when teacher says something, simply I obey the teacher's instruction, do it, obedience. Why am I, I put my ego that side and listen to teacher's words because I have faith in the Guru's words. Always Guru is interested in my growth. Always Guru shows the right path. His only wish is to take us to the higher place. So this kind of faith. When you have this kind of faith, obedience comes very automatically. Right? This is the place where we are doing mistake. Once we little, little when we study, we think that I know everything, then there comes the problems. Right? Correct? Then. I know you agree with me. Apo, we take some decision and uh, route is something, wrong route. The Guru means he must have walked and he must have seen so many problems. He must have studied, reflected so much. So we just now we entered. When he says, simply having complete faith, do whatever he says, that's all. Now Arjuna has got this kind of ego. He was arguing with the <laughs> Krishna, argument after argument. Krishna could convince him. There's so much of logical presentation. Here, Karishya Vachanam, Karishya Ami, Nasande, that's all. I will do obedience. Simple. So you can compare Rama's uh, this kind of Dharma Sankata with Arjuna's Dharma Sankata, then you can understand how Rama is very stable, already very the clear mind he has got. Why? Ideal student. In so many places in my own house, no, see, the father. This is father, okay? This is child. When our children are very small, they listen to father. When they grow more than father, okay? In all the places happening, when they grow more than father, they consider the father as child now. <laughs> father, you do not know. Mother, you do not know. Apo, when they, because they are uh, getting very good exposure, the outside world. They have grown. Sir, you have grown, you get the, house, the exposure, the present uh, generation uh, people, you are very good. But uh, they had, uh, they have the experience of life, learnings of life. They learned the life learnings. Now your age is just 20, da. these people age is 60, 40 years difference. Le. And the experience, the reflection, and they are transferring to you, you have to be very obedient to receive the experience that will protect you on your path. Getting it? So this kind of ability, the students should learn from Rama. Therefore, Rama is ideal student. I know you understood. Getting it? And because of our ego, we are not receptive. Once if you are not receptive, we miss the experience, the wisdom of the elderly people. We are not, our ego is not very or that obedient. We are not receptive. So we miss the wisdom of the elderly people. Therefore, we walk in our path with all our arrogance. When we get hit or attacked by the problems, we sit, we reflect and we learn. But time waste. Many people, they will miss the learning of the uh, lesson and they will worry. They will not learn, they will worry and they keep walking and they will worry. If you follow Rama's path, okay, we will receive the wisdom of the people and we will walk in the, in the path very safely and we no need to spend the time, no need to worry, we will walk very successfully. Therefore, we have to uh, follow Rama's path. Therefore, Valmiki brought the ideal student should be like this. If you follow Rama, you will not waste your time. There is no worry. Successfully, you will walk in the path of your life. Have you understood? For this purpose only, our Valmiki brought the ideal personality, the Rama. Is it okay?
So it's very difficult to be very obedient with our elderly people. Okay. First, you listen to Rama. Even though many, many times we get this kind of the arrogance, we will think of how Rama listened to Vishwamitra. At least we get that thought. <laughs> Even though we are not ready to listen to our elderly people, we get that thought. So I have to listen to my father and my teacher, but my arrogance, the ego is not allowing me. At least when we get this kind of uh, what a thought, then we are following 30 percentage of Ramayana. You started thinking about Rama. When you try one more time, second time, third, fourth time, you will get, oh, you got 35 percentage, 40 percentage mark, you got pass. Yes. <laughs> Even though I don't like my father's idea, it's like obedience. So I keep my ego that sir, I will follow his instruction. <laughs> 40 percent. Now, completely, hey, my father, my teacher, they are telling very nice, uh, nice idea. But I didn't think properly. I have taken their wisdom and following it, 60 percentage. Completely accept. But you think you are uh, high. Even though you think you are high, I accept them. Uh, they are better than my thinking. Okay? And so, okay. Then we are first class student. <laughs> we follow Ramayana 60 percentage. And this much is enough to live very nicely. This is Valmiki and this is Rama. Is it okay? <laughs> the obedience. Students mean what we think that while we are studying in school and college, we are thinking that we are a student life. Sir, even 60 year old also can be student. Why the whole life is what that uh, teaching the lessons. Whole life. After 20 years also in the field, suppose you're spending uh, in a professional field, 20, 25 years, 26th year you are learning very new lesson. Interesting, right? So it's not necessary, student means only in the school life or college, the whole life you have to have the student attitude to learn, to be obedient, to get very good information. This is point number two. So right? point number two, serving the teacher. Serving the teacher. Rama, Vishwamitra took Rama Lakshman to the Siddhasaram, where the Vishwamitra is doing yajna. So there Rama asked, Sir, you brought me here for my father's place. So we reached the place Siddhasarama, now you are going to conduct yajna. Now you tell me what we have to do. Imaus me muni shardula, muni shardula. Oh, tiger among hermits, muni shardula. Shardula means a tiger. The Vishwamitra is a tiger among uh, the sages. He walks like that. So we should not, the spiritual person should walk like Hamsa Pakshi. <laughs> Why? Peace. <laughs> Shardula. <laughs> our spiritual people are very, very. See our Guru, when he talks like lion. Muni yeah. Shardula. He can bring the same name for Swami Chinmaya, another Muni Shardula. Vishwamitra also would have been like, hey, Muni Shardula, King Karau, he says that he is a son of Chakravarti. Rama Chakravarti's son. The Chakravarti's son, he says, King Karau. So we both are King Karau. Kim Karau, Kim means what, what should I do to you? That's what the King Karau means the servant. What should I do? Kim Karau, very interesting part of Sanskrit. Kim Karo, so what I have to do for you? Kim Karo, me, Kim Karo, me, Kim Karo, Kim Karo. Kim Karo here, some Kim Karo, Rama Rama, here, Rama Lakshmana, therefore dual case. Those who study Sanskrit, I remember. I think this is then Sabda, Vibhakti. Yes, you are right. Kim Karo, these two people. And Rama says, Myself and my brother, Imao, Sma, He Munishadula, <coughs> King Kara, Samupagato. So we have reached here uh, with you. So please tell me what we have to do. Agnyapaya, he says that. Oh, Munis Reshta. Oh, great among all Munis. And this is all the, the Sambodra. Oh, Munishadula, Munis Reshta. We are your, we both are your servants. And Agnyapaya. Agnya means order us, not request, order, order me. Shasanam Karavamakim. So what kind of uh, duty we have to do for you? In the beginning itself, he didn't ask. 
while uh, Dasaratha was sending Rama Lakshmana first you start, sir, why you are taking me there? What should I do there? Rama never asked. Simply he went behind uh, Vishwamitra, learned so many things. When the time has come, and he just about to sit in the yajna. Vishwamitra Rishi says, Yajaman, there he has to sit. And at that time, Rama has asked him, see, you brought us, now you tell me, what should I do? Oh, he has Agnyapaye, order us, King Karavam, Sasanam. So what kind of order to be um, executed? Okay. Vishwamitra did not, uh, what that, uh, bring that idea. Hey, Rama, you have to do. Rama himself first is asking, what should I do? But that shows the service attitude, serving the Interesting, le? So what is happening in our case, so you have given the list of uh, the thing, what is to be done, the checklist. The checklist has been uh, sent one week back. They never opened the email box. And even if they take a printout, the checklist they check and the, the, they don't follow. Them. And the organizer, again and again, organizer showed uh, the remind. So much of chaos, they are not doing their job. Like, a, even, well, no, suppose if you uh, give them pressures, I have sent you the checklist, these are the duties you have to do, why you didn't do. Suppose if you ask two, three questions, say, I am a volunteer, okay? You cannot uh, order like this, you cannot ask me like this, you cannot uh, press me. I'm well, if, if I like, I will come and sir, otherwise you, that's I'm leaving the organization, that's all. Like, but you cannot say this in the company. Why? Company is totally different. Profession. With all pressure, even though we don't like that kind of job, with all pressure, with livelihood I have to do. In voluntary service, if you ask two, three times, they will run away. Sir, whether it is a professional life or a voluntary service we are doing, going, you have to have taste for the service. Professional life also service. Krishna says you have to make your professional life as a service to the world. Krishna asked Arjuna, hey Arjuna, loka sangraha mevapi sampashyan kartu marhasi. So you are a warrior in the field. When you do your duty in the field, that is a loka sangraha. That is also service. Okay. So in our understanding, service means what? First service is the pressing the leg of the guru, washing the a cloth of the guru, a literal service. Otherwise, you go to do go over that, some social service, uh, you join yourself in some clubs, some club. I become a member of some club and a service. Sir, if you run uh, your family, that is a great service for the society, running the nice family. If you run your business very powerfully, that is a great service to our society. If you find extra time and go and do social service very directly. And here the service, in this context, service means whatever uh, the work has been allotted to me, I'm ready to do. You please allot me the work. Why you brought me here? Please, you tell me I'm ready to serve. See the enthusiasm of the service. In our case, even though we remain so many times, there is no service attitude. You, you, remind, you remind them so many times, they come. Mm -mm. <sighs> tell me, what can be done? Okay, light the lamp, put the wick in this, pour the oil. You pour the oil, the oil will flow everywhere. Service. Take the wick and light the Put some camp at the tip of the wick. Yeah, where is camp? Huh? Where is camp? Huh? Huh? There. <laughs> okay. Simply <laughs> take the lamp, bring the wick, pour the um, oil and light the lamp. Simple work. There is no enthusiasm in it. This is I don't know how to say in English. In Tamil, you have a very, very nice presentation. Sir, yeah. so small, small work also needs attention and interest in it. Simple work, superb interest. Let's spread the, the spreadsheet. Very interesting. Do so, bring some flower and arrange the flower in such a way around the Lord. Uh, simple, simple work. And take the paper. Put it in the, or that file. Very simple. Simple, simple. Agnyapaya munisrishta. Shashanam karavamakim. 
first you would uh, ask for the work so tell me the work i am ready to do i will finish the systematic way this is called service learn from our rama actually this is bhagavad gita essence rama is applying the essence of bhagavad gita in rama avatar in rama avatar he he applied the bhagavad gita start in krishna avatar whatever he applied in rama avatar he explains theoretically in krishna avatar in the battlefield சொல்றதுதான்ஸ்ட்ரேட் கர்ம யோகா In Krishna Vadara, he says, whatever he demonstrated in the Rama Vadara, Krishna Vadara, he brings the statements out. Very interesting, right? But when you compare this kind of avatars also, very brilliant. Karman Nevadigar as the Mahapaleshu Kadach. Karman Nevadigar. You have to have the interest to do it. Show them. Agnya Bhaya, tell me the work. Give me some work. I'll do it. it's very very rare to see in our family also in the company also sir enough for work sir i can go by 4 o'clock sir <laughs> by 3:30 itself he will be asleep sitting there waiting for 4 o'clock <laughs> get out service attitude <clears throat> test for door <clears throat> even krishna nobody asked krishna to come on the battlefield krishna himself it took so many work le <laughs> So he he became messenger of uh, pandavas no need here is a uh, big uh, family in dwarka here is one place but voluntarily he went and he took so much work in mahabharata oh it shows his uh, attitude of service super le so you have to see rama attitude of service that is a tasty attitude agnya bhaya please order me sir you are elderly person you are my guru agnya bhaya i am ready to do and they took care of uh, the uh, whole yagna the great man and kamban explains how they took care of uh, a very brilliant example kamban gives the rama lakshmana there are only two people they have to protect the whole yagna two people are protecting the yagna of uh, vishwamitra and the forest is a very big area maybe 50 50 60 acres of the land the forest so they have to go around this land the forest and because we do not know which direction the rakshasas will come and disturb the yagna only two people not thousands of uh, um, uh, the military people are there two people should protect how they protected so what kind of example kamban has given so we will study in the coming ramayana course okay that i will keep you can give or the uh, in uh, creating curiosity i will tell you there you come there okay <laughs> very nice idea of conducting the class here <laughs> here we don't have time to <clears throat> discuss all those things just i'm telling service attitude of rama <clears throat> blessings of the teacher rama had blessings rama so whatever vishwamitra told rama executed immediately vishwamitra is very happy that's why father whatever father says the son is doing father will be very happy and the child is helping mother like anything the father mother is very much pleased with the child very rare to see this kind of child yeah we clear okay you say like that i also had a child <laughs> what kind of not getting up early morning 7 o'clock evening getting up from the bed <clears throat> not doing any puja no mantra nothing see what kind of child now here the children are very very good serving the teacher oh their behavior with the teacher is completely different vishwamitra is very very happy and vishwamitra paritushtosam badram te hey i am very much pleased with you very much pleased paritushtosmi rajaputra hey rajaputra mahayash oh brilliant mahayash the popular person orama oh, i am very much pleased with all your uh, uh, the work you served me in the yagna you killed uh, tataka and protected the society you brought peace to the society in the forest 
ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಪರಮಯ ಯುಕ್ತ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಪರಮಯ ಯುಕ್ತ ಪರಮ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟೀಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ದಿ ಗಿವ್ ವಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರಾನಿ ಸರ್ವಶಃ ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ವಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ತಪಸ್ ಹಿ ಹಡ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಫೈಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ ರಿಷಿ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ರಿಷಿ ಹಿ ವೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಡ್ ತಪಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಮಿಲಿಟರಿ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಹಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ನಾವ್ ಐ ಟೀಚ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ರ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೂಲ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ನಾವ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೂಲ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೇ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ದನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ರಾಮ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಬೈ ಒಬೀಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ನೋಸ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ದ ಬಾಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಟ್ ದಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಫಾರ್ ಬಾಸ್ arrogance and ego so boss is tamasic fellow he didn't know that this man is cheating me by pleasing by words boss is tamasic fellow and he goes behind this fellow and he gets information from this fellow and takes a wrong decision boss himself goes out of the company in two months you have seen many places boss should be above this kind of pleasing words you should be a little careful why this man is pleasing me if he please then you gave you so many things and he will drag you also along with him now here the rama is pleased vishwamitra by right service by by right attitude right behavior with the truthfulness so itra vishwamitra is not ordinary person you cannot uh, please him by simply what that and the nice pandrad le i do not doubt to say very yama tar the nice pandrad i don't know how to pretty cheating and a different kind of behavior not doing properly the company work office work uh, uh, nice when our boss comes oh boss 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 when boss goes <laughs> i know you understood what i am conveying not that kind of please that is dangerous for the person dangerous for the boss dangerous for the company also this kind of attitude perfectly he pleased ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸಿ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಪಿತಾಮಹ ದೇವವ್ರತ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಹಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಸಂತನು ಶಾಂತನು ಗೇಮ್ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛಂದ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಹೇ ದೇವವ್ರತ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಐ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಸ್ಟಾನಿಶ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಟು ಮೀ i will bless you with a swachhanda mrutyu whenever you want to die you can die interesting le so many places they get a very nice blessings from the teacher this blessings from the teacher rama had then he is going to have so much of problem in his life he could come out because of blessings of the teacher not only from uh, vishwamitra rishi from uh, vasishta from uh, the dronacharya oh ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ್ರೋಣಾಚಾರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಸೊ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಕರ್ಣಾಸ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಅರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಕರ್ಣ
in so many places you can find this kind of fault with the karna and people are pricing karna like anything it's okay that is a different topic while we are studying mahabharata will take up okay karna missed the blessings rama brought the got the blessings and he our vishwamitra rishi is blessing rama deva asura ganan vapi so you you will conquer jayashasi jayashasi vashikritya jayashasi oh rama you will bring every one under your control vashikritya you will bring under your control and you will conquer the people who who mail can deva asura ganan you will conquer devas you will conquer asura ganan gandharva uraga all the the divine uh, snakes gandharvas yaihi amitran prasahya so what uh, whoever comes in front of you opposing your what the the, the brilliants you will conquer all your enemies and you will bring them under your control this is my blessings finished so while he was a student please the teacher and brought the blessing this kind of blessings is very very important because our children when they go to examination so you don't uh, go i don't know whether you will get a pass mark or not go get out that is curse the father child they, oh even though you don't study i bless you that you will get very easy more questions <laughs> you will get pass mark <laughs> blessings by father's uh, positive uh, vibration positive thoughts mother's positive thoughts this child will go uh, without any stress he write something the person who corrects has got some problem and he gets 80 percentage actually he has to get 20 30 percent 80 percent <laughs> i don't know how i got this mark blessings you can say all the best my child all the best you can do i know that even though you don't study you have to go get out father is pleased mother is pleased blessings the child got a good mark without any stress if you don't have stress in the examination you get good mark even though you study so much the father told something wrong mother told something that you are not getting the blessings curse even though you know everything stress has come then you lost all the mark simple the rama in the case of rama he himself is very brilliant person powerful warrior at the same time this also they say payasam itself is very good sir you made very nice fragrant payasam sir and he added what that very nice sweets also payasam itself is very fragrant rama himself is very powerful warrior at the same time you may get uh, the blessings of teacher you are doubly blessed wherever you go only rama can okka uh, bana in one word that arrow he can finish all the enemies okay so tomorrow you will take up the ideal son the ideal student only one aspect is only one aspect takes one hour, 24 points that if you chant more and more valmi karma you get so much like what that milky ocean okay so this is how we have to see the rama or we will try to get uh, some points to follow in our life okay so tomorrow we will not continue tomorrow we will conclude okay okay so om purnamadah purnamidam purnaat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti shanti shanti